Uh, hi, uh, Peter Keynes from Agri Exchange in Renmark, South Australia. I've been a Centec dealer for about 13 years, um, selling the, the full range of Centec products. Um, today we'll just talk about the uh, almond case study we did in the Riverland with drip irrigation and the uh, water use of almond trees. Okay, so as I was saying, the trial was in almonds, uh, non perel variety. Um, this is a subsurface uh, drip system uh, with two, two dripper lines per row of trees and we installed two RT6 EnviroScan probes next to the drip line, one 20 centimetres from the dripper and one 60 centimetres from the dripper in an effort to measure the lateral spread when the grower was pulse irrigating. Um, the average water use of almonds in the Riverland is approximately 15 megalitres per hectare and uh, the soil types here were deep sand, sandy loam soils, very typical of our um, Mallee area. Okay, so we have here uh, separate level graphs from our two EnviroScan probes. The top graph is 20 centimetres from the drip line, the bottom graph is 60 centimetres from the drip line. Uh, the sensors are at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 150 centimetres and that's replicated on the second probe. Um, during the uh, spring months we are irrigating four to six times a day by pulse irrigation uh, and each, each pulse is approximately one hour long. Um, the the uh, effect here of, of pulse irrigating uh, to a depth of approximately 80 centimetres each irrigation is we are creating a, a nice lateral spread, often known as the wetting onion, um, where we get nice, nice sideways movement of water through the profile and, and uh, a nice depth without going too deep. The summed graph of those, of, of those two probes shows uh, a full point across the top here where we, we are happy with the moisture levels as not being too wet and we're not wasting water and a, a refill point here where we are able to maintain our lateral spread, maintain the, the width of our wetted onion and, and we have the same points here at 60 centimetre probe and uh, a very, very good irrigation management during November and, and the first part of December. Okay, so during November we have very good irrigation management. We are seeing uh, the moisture level at 80 centimetres maintained reasonably well at a metre we have uh, no, no evidence of drainage or over irrigation and the same can be said at 60 centimetre from the dripper. Uh, however, on the 5th of December the irrigation strategy was changed and we started to irrigate uh, every second day for five or six pulses every second day and immediately with the high water use of almonds in this climate we see quite a lot of extraction from 80 centimetres and also 100 centimetres which results in the wetting onion shrinking in sideways also so we start to lose moisture at 60 centimetres from the dripper so our lateral spread is now reducing as well as our depth of irrigation we're starting to get quite low moisture values uh, by about the 12th of December so one week after that change of strategy during the season we uh, during December we able to, to get our subsoil moistures back a little bit and that also results nicely with uh, on the 60 centimetre probe getting our lateral spread uh, back, back into the profile. But then again as we move into January we start to lose the depth of irrigation so our lateral spread is now reducing. Okay so this change in strategy was based on some uh, trial work the grower was doing and where they were trying to uh, use their evapotranspiration um, data and it had a local evaporation pan and they were using uh, known crop factors to schedule irrigation and uh, it turns out that their, their crop factors weren't quite right for, the, for that year and uh, the, the high crop that the trees were carrying. A uh, result of that was under irrigation during December and January and, and right through to harvest which resulted in probably smaller than average kernel size. Uh, quite unhealthy trees by, by the uh, time harvest came, quite a lot of leaf loss. So uh, whilst they were still checking their EnviroScan probes, they were still trying to maintain their scheduling based on climatic data and just in this case uh, it didn't quite work. So here we have the summed data from those two graphs during the December period and we can see where 
we came out of our spring zone with quite good moisture levels and very quickly dropped uh, into, into very dry conditions and, and at the same time we, we dropped down our, our 60 centimetre lateral spread probe which indicates the wetting onion shrinking. With, with a lot of irrigation during the middle of the month we were able to climb it back up to the previous levels but then once again it, it declined at 20 centimetres and also 60 centimetres showing the, the reduction in the, the wetting onion. Okay, so this is in the lead up to the harvest period. So uh, this is into the new, the new year. Uh, irrigation strategy was still based on evaporation data and their crop factors. Uh, still under irrigating according to the soil moisture probes. Uh, and we can see now we are struggling to get any irrigations to 60 centimetres. There's a couple of events here which get to 60 centimetres directly below the dripper. Uh, on the 20 centimetre probe. On the probe that's 60 centimetres from the drip line, um, on the, by the 20th of January we've lost all lateral movement so we're now only affecting a very small amount of soil with our irrigation and we are now only getting water down to 40 centimetres and sometimes not even 40 centimetres. Um, even when we start to apply, we, we realise this, the trees are not very healthy, once we start to apply a larger amount of water we're still not pushing it sideways. In fact, we're only just getting some water down to 80 centimetres and eventually by the end of February down to uh, one metre. And this is a summed example of, of that same data. So we are really struggling to maintain uh, soil moisture below the dripper at 20 centimetres from the dripper. And, and uh, by the 20th of January, we are now bone dry at 60 centimetres from the dripper and we verified that with some field testing, uh, hand augering and, and uh, visual inspection and certainly very dry uh, at that time.